What's going on guys, Greggles TV. Now today I'm gonna to show you my setup for my Galaxy Note 7. I get a lot of questions lately on this, on what wallpaper I'm using, which launcher I'm using, so I'm gonna go over all of that with you guys today. So the launcher I use is Nova Launcher, and it is free, but there's also a premium version of this, so you can get some extra things on it. It is called uh, Nova Launcher Prime, and that goes for $4.99. So I do that, and then I'm also on the beta. So if you wanna join the beta, I will link that in the description down below. All you do is make sure you download uh, Nova Launcher, and then uh, click on the link down below. Join with your Google account, and then you're gonna have an update on your phone. So you just go into your updates, download that, and it'll give you the beta. The beta is cool because it gives you some extra features that aren't on the normal edition. And for notifications on Nova, I use Tesla Read. It is a free download, and you can use it if you have uh, Nova Prime, so just keep that in mind. For wallpaper, I use Wallrocks. It is a free app. It's just spelled W-A-L-L-R-O-X. I will link it in the description down below. It's a very cool wallpaper app. I usually just look at the most popular one, and the one I have currently is right here. It's called Fascination. Very cool looking uh, wallpaper app. Very easy to apply, just click the plus, and then you can do crop and apply, or quick apply, or save it. So it's really easy. I used to, I was using this one as well. I was getting a lot of comments on this one. People like this one. It's a cool looking one, so if you wanna download that. For the settings on my Nova Launcher, just to show you some of the stuff before I go into that, um, I on the bottom, I got rid of my app launcher, so now I just swipe up from the top and I can see all the apps that I have. So it's really easy to get to. And for uh, all my apps, not all of them, but I have a lot of my apps in, uh, folders. So my reading apps are going to be everything from websites that I go to to read. Um, also, there's I have Amazon Kindle in there. I have my Duo, which is I can do my video chat. MIFC is going to be my uh, camera so I can watch my house. I have Home and Work. And those are little shortcuts I can click on, little widgets actually, from uh, Google Maps that allow me to click those buttons. It opens up Google Maps and automatically brings me either to home or to work. My social apps, I have Facebook, Instagram, Yelp, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, and Snapchat. Under music, I have Pocket Casts, which is a app that allows me to listen to podcasts. It's my favorite podcasting app. It does cost money. I think it's like three bucks maybe or five bucks. Spotify, I have all my music on Spotify. So I stream it all from there. And I also have Alexa in there. Alexa is uh, the smart speaker from Amazon. I got my photos in here, so I want to back up all my Google Photos. I have it right there. Uh, it also allows me to look at all my old photos. Xbox Live, so I can chat with my friends if they're on there, or see if somebody's online, or buy a game, all that stuff. Videos is going to be YouTube, Google Chromecast, Hulu, Fire TV. Fire TV app is going to allow me to control my Fire TV. YouTube Studio, so I can check my Google Analytics for my channel. Netflix, Kodi, Twitch, WWE, and Plex. Under Google, I have my Google Maps. I have YouTube again, Google Photos again, Gmail, Waze, so I can uh, navigate. That's a navigation app. I use that more than Google Maps lately. And then again, Google Studio, so I can check, check my Google Analytics. Storage apps, I have Dropbox and My Files. My Files is uh, just a, uh, it's kind of like ES File Explorer, but it's the Samsung version of it. Shopping, I have Amazon Shopping, Best Buy, Lyft, which is like Uber, uh, Prime Now, Slick Deals, McDonald's, <laughs> Walmart, and eBay. McDonald's is good if you want some good coupons. Uh, utilities, I have in my Android Wear because I have an Android Wear watch. Nest, so I can control the temperature of my house. Device Manager, this is cool. Device Android Device Manager allows you to find your phone if it's lost, um, or you can uh, ping it, or you can uh, just, generally just to see where your phone is. I like using it, like my wife loses her phone a lot, so I'll log into that and then ping her phone. Apps to Fire, it allows me to send apps from my phone to my um, Fire TV. AZ Screen Recorder is gonna be if I wanna record my screen, so it's a really cool app. Google Authenticator, I use two-step authentication for my Google account, so I, you can, uh, it brings up random codes to log into accounts. Finance, I have B of A, Chase, uh, Discover, Patreon, PayPal, PayRange, 
and Venmo. Pay range is like a lot of vending machines. You can use your phone to pay for uh, things with that. So it's kind of a cool app. Also uh, Venmo. So if people send me money or whatever, Venmo. And then on this one, this is more or less um, apps that I <clears throat> might delete or might keep. So uh, I have uh, Wall Rocks, which I love and I don't use it a lot, but it's, I do like it. Um, subscribers. I use this to check out how many subscribers I have in real time, and also I check on initial focus. You can see right now, 10,933 as of today. Uh, Package Disabler Pro, I have this. It allows me, I haven't set it up on this phone, but uh, this newer phone, but it allows me to disable uh, phone uh, apps on my uh, Note phone. I have an, a, a video on this, so if you want to check that out, uh, I'll link it in the description down below. SoundCloud, when I'm looking for music for my channel, I'll go on SoundCloud, Google Voice, and uh, Guitar Tuna. It's just, uh, I, I play guitar sometimes, and it just allows you to tune your guitar. Really cool app. So if you play guitar, get that app. On the bottom here, I have my, uh, my phone app so I can make phone calls. Google Chrome, Google Play Store, Google Analytics again, uh, Gmail for all my Gmail accounts in my Yahoo account. I have uh, Google Allo, which I love, awesome app. Make sure you get Google Allo. And Textra, I use Textra to do all my text messages. So that is my setup with, uh, Google, with Nova Launcher. If you go into the settings, I'll show you some of my settings. Um, oh yeah, widgets. So uh, widgets right here, this is the Samsung weather app. So I just add that and then I have it update every single hour. At the top here, these little icons here are for from Nova Launcher. Uh, the G is going to allow me to search anything on Google. The microphone is going to allow me to speak and you know ask Google a question. What's the capital of California? The capital of California is Sacramento. And the one in the top right is going to bring up my app launcher. So I can do the app launcher two ways. I can swipe up from the bottom or I can click it right here. And then going into the settings real quick of Nova Launcher, just to show you what I got. So on my desktop grid, I have it as five by five. Icon layout, you can see the size, I get set to 100%. Nothing too crazy. Uh, persistent search bar on all pages. Search bar style, this is where you add that cool little, uh, the G, the microphone, and then the app launcher at the top there. So you just go in here, and you, you do need the beta. So again, if you want this kind of cool stuff to swipe up from the bottom to access the app launcher and to access these cool little icons, you do need, uh, currently you need uh, the beta version of Nova Launcher. And you can scroll effect, I'm using uh, card stack. I have infinite scroll on. I add any app I download, it automatically adds it to my home screen. Um, what else? App and widget drawers. So here I do swipe to open. That's when you swipe up from the bottom if you want that. Background, I have it transparent 100%. Again, search bar. Look and feel. Uh, icon theme, I'm using, uh, I guess, the normal one. I don't know why it says Rifon, because when I go in there, it just says, <laughs> I'm using the mar Marshmallow or System, so I'm not, I don't have any custom um, icons currently. Sometimes I'll, I'll switch it up a bit. Other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Folders, dock, dock, um, Let's see, doc icons. I have the most you can put on there, which is seven. And that's pretty much it. I mean, don't, don't go too much. I have night mode, do I have that? I do have it turned on for uh, search bar and folder. So when it, when it reaches 7.30 p.m., um, it will automatically turn my search bar black or, or a dark color. So you can do that with all that stuff. So you can see I'm using Nova Launcher Prime Beta. 
So it's cool. You definitely get the beta. It adds some 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 cool little features, and it's it's free. And also, um, it's very stable. I haven't had any issues with the beta versions ever with Nova Prime. Very very cool. Uh, guys, let me know what your setups are below. If you have something cool or that you think I should add, or a, or a, or a cool widget, or something else that you would that you think's a good setup, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you don't use Nova Launcher. Let me know what launcher you do use and why you do use it. Uh, that'd be cool to know. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys down the road.